Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to do a quick video talking about... Find us, by the way. <clears throat> First of all, I'm not saying to go out and sell drugs. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just going to talk briefly about how the government system of dependence creates crime. Okay? Let's say you're 18, 19, you're a teenager, you're a little bit of an ego trip. You think you know best. You, you think... Whatever, you're going to go on welfare just for a bit to go to school. And, and, then, and then you uh, you you start to like the freedom, the liberty that, you know, selling a little bit of weed gives you. Maybe you're selling a little bit of weed to offset the cost because you're waiting to get your medical cannabis. I don't know. Whatever your reason is. And by the way, I'm only using cannabis because it's man-made. Uh, it's a, a plant made by God, it's not man-made, so I'm not talking about hard drugs, I'm not talking about that, but it, it's about the fact that, like, so for whatever reason, you go you go on, you sell a little bit of weed, you, then you start to like the money, then you, you like the perceived freedom and liberty that that gives you, and, like, to be fair with cannabis, you're not forcing someone to take it or at least you shouldn't be you're giving someone the choice to use their own liberty their own way uh, <clears throat> then you by the way if you are selling cannabis please don't sell it to anybody under the age of 18 but again this is not a pro um trafficking video this is explaining how these habits can be created by government without even knowing it. And then what happens is you got the government that may have created the system for control or they may have created the system to originally help and then human nature comes in and they figure out that they can use these systems of dependent to track our movements, to track um are buying habits and then they probably sell that to companies dare I say but um there's there's various reasons so whatever those reasons are and then you got the government that probably went okay wait we're seeing a rise in crime okay we need to get tougher on crime or maybe treatment depending on what government it is um then they got tracking and they can say, well, so many people are selling cannabis and blah, blah, blah. And then you got reefer madness that went on for about 50 years. Um, but let's walk away from the cannabis conversation for a minute. And let's say there's also other people that may be on disability for various reasons. And they'll get jobs under the table. And even if you're not on disability and you're on welfare and you... You get jobs under the table. You get that because you're afraid of the government docking you penny for penny. Now, there is, again, like, if you're making a little bit of money and the government's docking you a little bit, who the hell cares? It's teaching you independence to a point. Like, I'm on disability, but I know a part of me doesn't want to be because I can't even remember the last time I bought something for takeout. But I'm just saying, like, that's how these systems get created. Then they use it for statistics. Then they use it to justify um, money on crime and spending and stuff. And I'm learning so much about central banks and the, you know, um, and, and bitcoins and stuff. And and let me tell you, it just we create these systems where people have to make money under the table. Because they don't want to get docked. Now, I mean, if you're making money and you're withholding it from the government and you're making enough to be considered off a disability, then fine. So be it. That's great. But you you can at least report it once you're making enough to get off the disability because then you are just milking the system. So then, um, if you, you know, you hear all the time, well, let's claim this on taxes, let's claim that on taxes. First of all, taxes is fat, I'm learning that. So then, of course you got people that are going to want to um, cheat the tax man a little bit. Now, I'm not recommending, uh, I'm not recommending um, tax fraud, I'm not. 
But what I'm saying is, that's how the human nature can be created. And then when you sell a little bit of weed, then then you get nailed with a pound if you're an idiot, let's say. Then then you you you're nailed and you can't get a job in your small town, but yeah, you don't want to leave town because you might have family, you might have friends, whatever, right? I, I, but the government creates these systems where we have to make the money. And we have to kind of hide it under the table a little bit. I'm not recommending it, but I'm just trying to give a voice to why it happens. And then the government creates it. And then they know about the statistics and the number and the crime and the whatever. And the people that may not claim under the table jobs. And in spite of what Trump or people like Trump might say, it's not foreigners doing it. Later.